Hi, welcome to Make or Repair. Today on my bench is this APC UPS system. It's a back UPS 1400 and it's the one from my office. So nothing wrong with it, it's just I've got to replace battery warning flashing all the time now. And uh, yeah, so I just need to change the batteries in this. Now, when I got this, I was hoping that it would have replaceable batteries kind of obvious and there is actually a link which on the controller page to take you to buy replacement batteries and you can see you need a pair of 12 volt 7 amp hour batteries anyway if you follow the link to say amazon you can see they are about 62 pounds and of course there are stacks of reputable companies turning these out for half the price but do take care to get the larger f2 connectors otherwise it's just a bit more fiddly to uh, fit the batteries Anyway, these are the ones I got, and that was partly because there was a special offer. I paid half the price that APC are charging. Obviously, I have disconnected it from the mains, and now we're going to uh, just pop off the back, because those are the only screws I can see. Uh, these are tapped into plastic. This isn't the best. So that's the back panel open. Is there a way it means to get the front panel open? Who knows? I'm kind of winging it here. A little peer in there just to see if there's stuff I can easily get to. And what I can see basically is a large transformer. It looks like this case can park company along this line here. Question is, how does that happen? It does indeed. Oops. You don't accidentally. Put it again. So the front comes off, there's a rib along the centre and three screws through it. So I'm just going to loosen those up and hopefully we'll open the car. Sort of put the assembly, there we go. Oh, so there we have it, it's sort of come apart. Okay, so unclip the back, four screws. So unclip the front using plastic clips. Thanks for that. And then you can get access to get the three screws. And then this side, in theory, lifts off. In practice, it's not quite so good. And we can see our batteries, though, just here. So I have obviously powered this off. Let's see if we can't persuade. This is our series connection through the center, of course. So we're going positive, negative. Let me get my new batteries out. So here are my new ones. Um, and as we can see, they've got a different type of tab. Typical. I'm sure I bought the right size tab, but never mind. I will have to make an alteration for that. Because I'm not going to change these batteries now. So what I'll have to do is take off this uh, old end piece and put a new one on, or I suppose I could put a little adapter strap cable on it. Oh, just to make life easy for us. So for those interested, that's what's written on here. It's APC, RBC, battery, blah, blah, blah. Well, it isn't, is it? That's a label stuck over the old manufacturer's battery, and these two are actually just stuck together with tape. Let's see if we can see whose it is. So there we go. Um, these are Hitachi uh, CS3 batteries, GP1272F2. So my new ones are also 1272s, of course, and uh, exactly the same capacity. The only difference being, I think these are called F1 connectors on the top. I'm sure it said F2 when I ordered them, which is really, really annoying. Here's our date code on the end there. So yeah, so quite old. So there they are, nicely inserted. Will this grip is the big question. Mm, it's a bit flaky. So, okay, let's have a look at just replacing these clips. I think there's something a bit more. These actually feel perfectly substantial. The center one, it's doing a perfectly good job. I'm not quite so keen on that. The F2 female connector on the cable 
is a quarter of an inch versus the 3 sixteenths F1 on the battery. Now, some people just tighten up the F2 connector with some pliers and make do, and there's nothing too wrong with that, but I've decided to replace the crimp connector to get a tighter fit. The cable is pretty big for the connector, so after I've crimped it, I'm soldering it just to be on the safe side, and then finally finishing off with some self-adhesive heat shrink. Okay, I've attached my crimp, and now I'll just uh, apply some heat shrink to it to uh, give it a better resilience. Yep, that's a nice tight fit. Let's do this one now. Okay, so we're connected up, my battery's in. Yep. So what we'll do now is try and put this back together. And we're done. Okay, we'll scientifically apply the front panel. I'm going to put the back panel back on. Usual thing, going into plastic, just turn it a little bit anti-clockwise first. Or just turn it very gently, making sure you don't apply any pressure. That way it will cut into the right thread. These are quite sharp ones, though, so it's best to turn them anti-clockwise first. And they've got big threads so you can kind of feel it easy so just a quick power up check before we uh, take it into uh, connect up in the office yeah come in online of course i've got no communication stuff or anything like that connect this turn it off and uh, take it into the office so here we go, here is the software running. I've reinstalled the UPS and uh, I've got three screens, uh, a powerful computer, some other bits and pieces such as a cable modem and of course uh, some switches and things so that uh, everything stays online should I get a power cut. And you can see that uh, it can run that at this particular load, which is quite a lot, for 17 minutes. So I'm completely happy with that, completely happy with what it's reporting. So there's one job remaining which is to actually record that I've changed the battery. Go up to here, back UPS, you know, the model number, and down to battery management. And there we go, 7-2020 was the original date. And so, of course, it is now April 2025. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click Apply. And happy days, that's all stored. Now that's actually stored in the battery unit, so if I plug it in somewhere else, it will be uh, remembered. And that's all there is to it. That's all completed now. I'm completely happy with that. Now, of course, mine is the 1400U. You may have a different model, but the process is gonna be the same. And uh, including going to the reorder battery link down here to find out what the battery is in the first place so you can order them, because of course, it's not always convenient to disconnect your UPS in order to take it apart and take the old batteries out. Generally, you can't use your computer once you've done that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, share it with your friends, and of course, leave some comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.